Okay, so this is part three of the second real segment <coughs> of the Maisa Choshev. And uh, <coughs> I'm talking about Kol and Kala with these five Chassadim and five Vuras because in Shresa Omer, when we bring in this or we're going to talk also about Chassadim and Vuras, and then we're going to discuss Kol and Kala and what level and how, and that's why it's important for us to know. And generally speaking, when we talk about this, this is the, the my question how things are. But... <coughs> The reality, there are many levels of kol, many bechinis, and many nyanim, and um, everything in its time. So now let's continue the the chesavram. We're up to the last paragraph on the first column of page study test. Veda kipayahu yediel menikah mishne oishes elokim hachrom shem yud men. Paro, you have elokim aleph lamed hey, and then you have yud and men, right? Paro had the Yud Mem of Elokim. And when you write out a five letter word, how many permutations do you get? You get 120 Tzirufim. 120 Tzirufim. After that is another 120, the same ones as before, but now it's in the Sidra. Elokim, <coughs> because it's Din, there's a certain, and you know how Tev is going to Elokim, like the Ramak says, like well, in other places. So the Pachena of, of, of Elokim is like. It's the place of Din, and it's the easiest place for the Sitrach to get a grab all, grab onto. The Vaya, they have nothing. Zero. Generally, it's like Havaya, forget it. Like, really, in Havaya, really, they don't really have. Again, <coughs> above K, you can keep a little bit of mess up, but like, Lemaisa, the Sitrach really doesn't have. Their are unique, is really Lokim. Or Lokim, and Ek is really. I mean, we saw the Maisa, it's the Machina, what Moshe Benu thought that their unique was in Havaya, but generally speaking, generally speaking, it's very, very hard for them to really get a hold of Havaya. Even if yes, it's not going to be your K, Lechadr. But actually, actually, yeah, what we're talking about now, like the most normal place where the Sitrachah, for sure, that's what I mean to say, right? The most normal place for the to get their unique is an Adni or Elokim. Right? It's a Din, the Bechinus of Din. The very name Adni is Din in it. And right? Elokim also is Gematria Right? Din, what? Adni, uh, the name Adni, Alf, Dal, Nun, and Yud that we say when we say Hashem's name is Din. The re actually says it's Din plus Alf. You have to bring the Alf of Ekya and sweeten the Din of <coughs> Adni. That's right, exactly. So it says for the Tiftach, that's the, that's the Kavana, right? Five times Din, plus uh, Aleph is a Shin, Shin Chaf, right? Shin Shachtinim, and then Shin Chaf Hei is Nara. Oh, that later he brings a good one. Fine, very good. So we have this Bechina, right? The Maisa, so what we're, what we're talking about now, so Paro, his general, his unique, his like big, big, uh, his uh, source, his big source, his Koyach. And again, like I, I don't remember now. Having a chiza, whatever it is, a chiza, lemaisa, what what they have by them is going to be basically lemaisa, either the din of Adni or some level like the bechina of the lokim, or the or in the matzbach. That's where usually you find that there's a unique of the drachah. I don't remember there being. I still don't remember there being mamish in 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 in, in, in the vay. It could be like again this bechina of ekia we have, right? Aleph of kel kiel kiel kiel. But I'm not really sure. I don't remember <coughs> right now such a thing that that they have a, a unique mamish in the bechina of the shem of vay clearly. I don't know. The Reese talks about the four ketos of 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 those uh, sin, right? Four ketos don't have right uh, in right? So so there he says that usually most mitzvahs, most of eras can be pogaming the vav k of the shame, but not in the yud k. Guy is an exception. Guy is gematria yud k. But uh, as we know, guy is the hardest of eras because the more good you do, the more you, the bigger you feel. It doesn't cure you. Usually, when you're doing sins, you you do good things. It can combat it. If you're doing any guilt, with the guy, but it's not gonna come back. Now you're doing chas. Oh, now you're the biggest one. You know that. So now you're the biggest. Uh, the biggest. They're even bigger than before. They have even more reason to be like that. It's very, very hard to deal with. You don't notice it. It's very insidious. Right? You can't really. You have to the whole bunch of help. It's a little good aitza for a guy. Because you can have guy that you have that working the aitza. It's very, it's very insidious. The guy. So actually, um, yeah. One way or the other way. Here we're talking about power has your man a bit of kim. So again, it's a hundred twenty two of him. And, and yes, exactly, 120 Tzirufim, and that divides into 24 times 5, right? Yes. So each letter has 24 Tzirufim, which start with it, right? So then you have 24 times 2 is Mem Ches Tzirufim, the Yud Mem, and that's Cham, which is the name of Mitzrayim, right? Mitzrayim, the people of Cham, the name of the son of Noach, that's who they were, right? Admas Bnei Cham, we call it Mitzrayim in the Tehillim, Right, the Yesh Chavta Atzur from Bcholos. Every also has twenty-four permutations. Right, Nimsa Ki Bishnei Al Yishish Yesh Ben Memches Tzirufim. 
That's why it's called Eretz Ham.